So once we have pre-processed our image, we can just go to the analytical part. In the analytical part, we have PCA, a sparse PCA, endpoint members, evolving factor analysis, multivariate curve resolution or linear, uh, uh, linear mixing models. We can calculate correlations of a spectral angle mapping with some pixels that we have uh, or some information we have in databases. K-means clustering, uh, fuzzy clustering, or classical least squares, okay? So let's start from the beginning. I will not explain the methods, okay? If you want more information about methods, you can just ask me if you, if you want. I can provide some information. So let's make a PCA. In PCA, we just say the number of principal components we want, five principal components. The algorithms, we can use a singular value decomposition or NIPALS. In this case, I will use just SVD. And mean center is always advisable when we do PCA to mean center the data beforehand. So I just run the model. The model is being calculated. And here we are. Here we have the score surfaces. Here we have the um, scatter plot between uh, scores, the scores scatter plot in a density type of plot, the loadings and the variance per comp uh, the, of the variances. Let's start with the first one, that is the scores. Here we can display the one we need, okay? Even we can select two of them like that. And if they are in a sm in small, just to make it bigger, we can make a new plot, okay? We can even change if we need, we can make, we can change the color map in order to visualize the things in different ways. Like for instance, this is the jet color map. This is the Parula color map, gray scale color map, hot scale color map. And now we can some color maps that is, this is red to white to green. So these are progressive color maps and these are just discriminating color maps, as you can see here. They are very informative. This is red to white to green. And this is red to black to green in different degrees of intensity. You see, this is very extreme. It tells you the extreme pixels that are totally different. Or we can change the degree of the, of the color a little bit. Sorry. Yeah, a little bit more and a little bit more. So we can change the degree in here. Okay, that's a new possibility in this uh, new version of HyperTools. Also, if we want, we can select number one and number and number four with the mouse. We can select both, and we can just change the color map if we need. And with the loadings, the same. This is the first, second, third. We can even select two of them like this. We can move the legend if we need, and we can using the control of your keyboard, we can just select one and three, for instance, if we are interested. With the score density plot, it works exactly the same. This is PC1 against PC2. And here we can select PC1 against PC2 or any kind of combination of the five that we have calculated here. We can even display it in three dimensions, with PC1, PC2, and for instance, PC3. So if I say plot, it will display in three dimensions okay but one of the things that are that I really like from the display in two dimensions is that uh, now it takes a little bit to to calculate this density plot we can select pixels in such a way that uh, see here we are open with my mouse I can select for instance, this cluster of uh, pixels that I can see here and figure out to which plastics, or sorry, to which plastic they belong. So for instance, would be this plastic here in red, okay? Here we are in red, okay? We can also do this and we can select pixels again and we can save this result and everything, okay? So 
This is about the, the density plot and the variance per component. This is the explain variance per component and the cumulative variance just in case we need it, okay? This is about principal component analysis.